King Charles won. He faces one huge problem evicting Prince Andrew from Royal Lodge. Daily Express Royal Correspondent Richard Palmer has explained why King Charles III won't be able to evict Prince Andrew from the massive property. So guys, as we get right into the stories in more detail, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch right up to the very end. King Charles III has been warned he could be faced with one huge problem when trying to evict Prince Andrew from his £30 million royal large home. The Duke of York is reportedly refusing to leave the sprawling Berkshire property which he shares with ex-wife Sarah Ferguson during ex extensive and required building works in case he's evicted and never gets back into it. He is currently involved in a standoff with the king who is keen for Andrew to move out of the home he has lived in for over 20 years. This is all due to the newly crowned monarch's plans for a sealed down monarchy and property portfolio. But Andrew is seemingly showing a little, little sign of budging, particularly after he took out a 75 year lease on the property in 2003 following the death of the late Queen Mother. Daily Express royal expert Richard Pamel explained the house doesn't fall into what is known as the occupied royal palaces estate like some 200 other royal properties, but is instead a crown estate property. He told the Daily Express Royal Roundup that, The king is saying I can't support you in the way I used to support you like your mother used to be able to support you, and I'm worried are you going to be able to stay there and do the maintenance work that is needed on the property. I think Andrew is saying I'm not moving and I will find a way, but nobody is quite clear how exactly he is going to do that. I think the king is putting pressure on his brother to move to something smaller and something that is more financially manageable. But apart from the financial support he gives him, he doesn't have a lot of leverage over that. He can't evict his brother from Royal Lodge because, as I have said, that is a crown estate property. The monarchy is technically the owner of the crown estate but in, an, in, the, in name only and it's basically an independent property company that, you know, makes money from the UK government. Mr. Palmer believed the firm will be wondering how Andrew will be able to afford the vast renovations of Royal Lodge himself should he still refuse to move from there. The Royal Expert was asked how would you be able to, how will he be able to afford all of these renovations if he no longer a senior working royal and is quite tight lipped about what he's doing these days given the headlines from the last few years. Where is this, where is this money coming from? So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.